Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another surveying lesson. In lesson five, we talked about how to draw one of these surveyors field book entries. So if you're looking at this diagram on the right and you have no idea how what any of that means, then please go back to the previous lesson. Otherwise, you'll have no idea what's going on. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to do questions um, that ask you about the field book. So when we're doing questions for the field book, we probably will not get this information on the left. Okay, so they'll just give you the field book and they'll ask you some questions about it. So let's start by giving you guys some questions. So the first question is find the length EG. So what does that mean? That means we want the length, we want the distance from point E, which is here, to point G, which is here. So what is this distance here? So it says that from A to G, the distance is 57. So A to G is 57. And from A to E, so from A to E, the distance is 35. So from E to G, which is from point E to point G, the distance must be from A to G minus A to E, which will be 57 minus 35, which is 22 meters. So that is the distance from E to G. Okay, next question. Find the area of the triangle KFE. So where is this triangle? This triangle is from point K to point F to point E. So it's basically this right angle triangle here. So in order to find the area of that triangle, I'm going to just draw the triangle out separately so we can see it clearer. So there's a right angle over here because KF is an offset. So it's at right angles to the survey line. So we got KFE and the length from K to F is 19 meters. The length from F to E um, is 46 minus 35. So FE equals 46 minus 35, which is... 4 minus 3 is 1, 6, 11 meters, so that's 11 meters. And the area is base times height divided by 2 because there's a right angle. So that's the base, that's the height, perpendicular height. So base times perpendicular height divided by 2. It's 11 times 19 divided by 2. And the answer is 104.5 meters squared. Okay, question three. Question three. Find the angle CID. So here's point C, here's point I, here's point D. We want to find the angle CID, which is this angle here. So let's draw that out <clears throat> separately. Okay, so we have a right angle triangle. We have point C down here, point I down over here, and point D over here. So the middle letter I is where the angle is. Okay, so I want to find out that angle. So if you guys remember how to do that, basically we need to write down the tangent ratio because if we have the angle over here, then this side is the opposite, this side is the adjacent, and this side is the hypotenuse. So since we have the measurement of di, which is um, 30, and we have CD, which is from here to here, which is 27 minus 15 is 
CD equals 27 minus 15, which is 12. So that's opposite side is 12. Now, the ratio that relates the adjacent side and the opposite side and the angle is tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So it's tangent theta equals 12 over 30. Okay, so how do we find theta? We would do inverse tan, 12 over 30. And the answer is 21.8 degrees. Round it to 1 dp. Okay, so using the field book entry, we were able to find the angle CID, which is from here, the triangle to, which is this angle right here. Okay, so we're able to find that angle, which is really cool. Okay, so let's give you another question. Find the area of JEDI. What a coincidence, JEDI. So J-E-D-I, I need to find the area of this shape. Okay, so let's <clears throat> draw that out separately. From J to E is 18. It's J to E. From E to D is at right angles down. And it's 35 minus 27, which is um, 12. Oh, no, not 12. 35 minus 27 is 8 meters. And then, um, so that's D over here. That's 8 meters from E to D. And then I have from D to I, which is, again, at right angles, 30 meters. And I have no idea how long that is, but it doesn't matter because now we have a trapezium. What is a trapezium? A trapezium is when you have one pair of parallel um, lines, one pair of parallel lines or sides, and the other pair does not have to be parallel. Okay, so when you have one pair of parallel sides, the area of a trapezium is area equals base uh, A plus B times H divided by 2. That is the area of a trapezium. Trapezium. So what is A plus B? A plus B is simply the length of the parallel sides. A and B are the lengths of parallel sides. And you can see here that 18 and 30 are parallel. So I'm going to put 18 and 30 where A and B is, times by the height, which is 8. Perpendicular height is 8. Divided by 2, putting all of that into the calculator, I have 192 square meters. And that is the area of JEDI, J-E-D-I. Okay. Um, I guess we can do maybe one more question. Question five. And let's just do a bit of a Pythagoras question. Let's go find the distance from L to J. Okay, we've done all of this work. Surely we can find the distance between these points now. So from L to J, what is the distance? So you can see that the distance from this point to this point is 10. The distance from this point to this point is 18. So if I want to write this out separately, right, we have 10. And then we have at right angles down. And then we have a bit longer, we have 18. So I want to know this distance right here, let's call that X, right? Because it's from L to J. And this is point G and this is point E. And what is this distance, distance right here is 
57 minus 35, which is um, 22 meters. That is, this distance here is 22 meters. So if I draw a dotted line over here and cut this shape up so I have a right angle triangle, Okay, then what happens is I know that this side is 22 meters from here to here. And then I also know the distance from this point to this point because the distance from here to here is parallel to the distance from here to here. All right, they're parallel because both of these are right angles. So that must be 10, which means this triangle from this point to this point, so the base of the triangle, the base of the right angle triangle has 18 take 10, 18 take 10, which is 8 meters. So if I isolate this triangle, right, I like isolating shapes so you can see clearly. If I isolate that triangle, isolate that triangle, I will get 8 meters down here, 22 meters down here, and x is what we're trying to find. x is the distance from L to J, okay? So x, uh, let's go c squared equals a squared plus b squared, x squared equals 22 squared plus um, 8 squared, so x equals the square root of that. put that into the calculator and you will get 23.4 meters rounded to one decimal place. So that is the length from L to J. Okay, thanks for watching this video on uh, solving math problems using the Surveyor's uh, Field Entry book. Um, let's continue on to more surveying in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. See you next time.